Morning team, how are you going? We are going fishing with kayaks this morning. I'm meeting up with 16 year old Lem for the first time, just down the end of the road here. And hopefully we're gonna get on some fish. So come and join us. See one kayak out there fishing. That's where we're gonna to go today. We're gonna to head on down there. Got a kayak out here already right at the front as well. Nice flat sea. Yeah. So this is the uh, Makita Main and you must have been at Pine Hill. Pine Hill Domain, two different domains there, yeah, no worries. Go, Dad. Oh, no, no. no oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, good on you for taking them, man. Oh, no, yeah. all good, all good. Yeah, it was awesome to take them down. Yeah, man. So, anyway, so what we'll do is we'll just head on down the very end, because we're going to go off the point there, because the point will be good. Yeah, you're 16, are you? Yeah. Have you got a life jacket with you? Yeah. Sweet. Do you have a, uh, a rag for your fish? Cloth? Oh, I might have a spear one for you. No, that's not a hole, bro. That's, that's tackle box. Oh, you got a pod to go in there. Wicked. So, Lamb got this uh, a week ago. Did you get it for Christmas or what? Or did you buy it yourself? I know, I bought it myself. Well done, man. Not many 16-year-olds own a kayak like this. How'd you... Are you working? Yeah, yeah, full time. Oh, you're working full time? Oh, you're working since 15. Sweet. <laughs> this is a beautiful kayak. Yeah. It's not quite as flash as uh, Lamb's one. Rather took 16-year-old Lamb out here today and dropped them off. Uh, it's just worked entire night shift at King Salmon. And I said, we've got a spare kite, can we come out? And he goes, yeah. So he's coming with us. Hey, have you got a knife, mate? Do you have a knife on you? Oh, no. I've got a spare one, you can have mine. Otherwise you have to, um, you have to cut the bait up with your teeth here. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh, I've done it, man. <laughs> <laughs> You always want to point your boat up from the waves, don't need to go sideways. Once you go sideways, you get in trouble. She went well through the breakers there, Lem. Yeah. yeah, did well, eh? How you find that, Ra? All right, mate? Yeah, mate. Good to put your waka armor, though, eh? <laughs> You're smashing it. What was that, bro? You glad you came out? I'm glad you came out too. Yeah, it's good to meet you, Ra. Holy shit, bro! You only put your line in the water and you got a fish. Yeah. Nice going. What was it, Kahoy? Nice sashimi fish, yeah. Easy, yeah, bro. Nice going. See, just <laughs> you just put it down. Yeah. Good going. Have you got your anchor down? You have too. Yeah. Good going, mate. These boys having fun. I'm fun too, but I've got to remember that even when it's cloudy like this, it's cover up because my lips are all burnt from the last few days. I've got blisters on them, so I'm going to keep cover up while I'm out here. I got this buff from Lenny at Coppins. It's uh, a Viking kayak buff and really good to stop your face getting burnt and your lips. This is what I should have been wearing the last four or five days. I've been out here fishing solid. So sunscreen works to a degree, but I found that with zinc, it actually, my lip sort of cooked underneath the zinc. So this is a really good way to keep the uh, the sun off and also a good hat. It's more fun too than sloshing white shit all over your face. Although some people apparently enjoy doing that. Hey, you know mouldy tradition, you release the first fish of the day? Yeah. We, we don't do that here. Yeah, we do, bro, but we've already caught our first fish. That's yours. Yeah, yeah that would be a good panty. That's about a 30, I reckon. Let's get a strike on the junkie jig. We got him on salt? Yes, we have. Playing like a cowboy. You know, could be a snapper too. Yeah, it's got a bit of wee bit of weight. It's not a not a monster. I oh, know what have we got here? Got a uh, yeah, cowboy. It's my sashimi fish for the day. He's not in the boat yet though. Yeah. 
perfect. Don't jump out, mate. <laughs> The forecast for this morning was at this time now, which is about 8 o'clock, blowing four knots and no rain. Well, it's been pissing down. It's just stopped now, but it has been pissing down. And she's blowing about 15 knots right now. It's come up, so the uh, Met office got it wrong this time. But hey, still can't think of any better place to be right now than out here. There. We're on. Not a big one. Oh. What do we got? Penny? He got a bit of fight in him, but I don't think he's that big. Oh, another kawai. I'll take that. Oh no, it's not it's a bloody snapper. It's on the wrong wrong angle there. Little pan size snapper. He is legal, but he's going back. He's going back in the sea for another day. He's a legal fish, we take that, it's about a 28. Out here the legal size is 25, but uh, we can do bigger. He's got a, got a piercing to tell all his friends about when he gets back in the sea. See you later bro, have a good... Spit it out, come on, have a good day. Be a tiny fish. Oh, little kawai. Got a little kawai too, must be a whole school gone under us bro. Nice we fish to get back in the sea for another day. Oh, we're on. Not a big one. No, oh, got some fight in it. Yeah, what have we got? Is it a cow or is it a little panty? Not a big fish, but a hey, fish. Another snapper. Another pan size one's about a 28. Go, mate. See ya. You need to head on down, head on down. There you go. We got two on here or one small one? Oh, little, little snapper. Hey fella. See you later. Again, what do you got mate? A car wire or a snapper? Oh, get a, get a, get a little car wire. You're not a biggie. It's amazing these small fish will take these uh, junky jigs. It's a little, little kawaii it feels like. Oh, it could be a little snapper. No, it's a um, mackerel. These are actually a very oily fish. And one of Awi's favourite fish, I'll keep that for her. Bit of a swell coming up now. Make sure when you're pulling your rank up in a particular sea like this, that you're pulling it up from the front of the boat. Don't take it up from the side, otherwise you'll end up tipping over. It's getting a little bit gnarly out here. Uh, Lem's decided to go back in and a good decision on his part because he's only second time out with his new kayak. And the last thing you want to do is uh, capsize and lose your rod and lose your fish and everything and have a bad experience. So wise decision on his part. We've all got to feed a fish. Can't ask her any more than that, and uh, made the most of a morning, which probably most people went, nah, it's raining, we'll start home, so we've caught fish. Gonna head back in. Sun is up, I'm heading back. I got some fish in my dad's kayak. A simple life, I've come to know. Where everything is sweet as bro. Sweet as bro, sweet as bro. Everywhere we go, it's sweet as bro. Singing sweet as bro, sweet as bro. Everywhere we go, it's sweet as well. Just looking at the chili bean, got a few uh, parasites here. And uh, I don't know what that is. Look at that there. Yeah. That's come out of the mackerel, I reckon, eh? Yep, no, it has. So, um, let's have a look and see what's going on inside its belly. Oh, I don't want to lose our fish here, but I'm pretty sure it's some, they, they come out of here, I reckon. Yep. Are these fish known for those? Those are they raw? Yep. Yep. Okay. They are. They just live them about, you know. They just eat. Look at the, look at the row in there, man. Oh, that's some good row, isn't it? That's some good row. Yeah, I'm going to leave that in there, actually. Good man. Yeah, I can leave that in there. You can eat that. Yeah, they usually go and um. 
think sometimes in Kingies too, eh? Hey? Yeah, I've seen them in Kingies actually. Did you have fun? Yeah, nah. But you lost your fishing much. rod? Yeah, nah, it's alright. Got some fish. Got some fish. Okay. Oh, look, she's got the row in there. Got too. a few row, yeah. She's a gill. Oh, no, no, that's actually a boy. Oh, that's a boy. that's, 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 that's milk. Hey? That's milk, eh? Hey? Oh, yeah. That's not row, that's milk. You don't want to eat that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is what Liam got today out there. He got a 30, and he got a 26, and he got some kahawai as well. Got a feed. Definitely, what do you prefer, bro? Do you prefer snapper or kahawai to eat? Kahawai. Me too. Yeah. What are you, mate? You kahawai yeah, snapper? No, I'm a kahawai, man. See, everyone like used to when I was growing up was uh, no, eating kahawai. But see, these bros, they know their fish. <laughs> Absolutely. So, for sashimi, like uh, you caught snapper out there and let them go today, didn't you? Just put yeah. the kahawai home. Yeah. Yeah. There's a man who knows his there. fish. And do you prefer to sashimi yourself? Yep. Yep, same here. Absolutely. What about you, Liam? Do you sashimi yours up or do you cook fry it? Fry it. You fry it, yep. yep. Have you tried sashimi kahawai? No. Do you remember that, uh, it's like wasabi and soy sauce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Did, did he have that? Beautiful. Oh, no, no, I think he's going to have that when he gets home. Yeah, no, listen, there's no you go. Yeah, we'll do. Well, other than losing a fishing rod, it was a pretty successful <laughs> trip. Yeah. Amazing day, yeah, thank it was, you. It was an amazing day, but hey, look at it now. <laughs> It was a storm out there, uh, it was raining, <laughs> and we come in and now it's sunny. It. What's the story? This is the forecast it was supposed to be, but <laughs> it came like two hours too late. Oh, We're just God. out there beautifully, and that's the thing about fishing at sea, man, any time, eh, a storm can come up, yep. and that's how you lost your rod, because that yeah. storm, eh, and it's a lesson on that. You always prepare for what the worst can happen. It wasn't in the forecast, it wasn't forecasted, but it came up about 15 knots, raining, big swell, and he lost his rod over the side. So you've always got to prepare for that to happen. Yeah. Even though, you know, that's why I said to you before, you need to tie your stuff on. It was, it was flat ass calm when we went out there and you wouldn't think anything would go wrong, but, you know, you could be worse, you could lose your life too, you know, so always yeah, think yeah. about that. Next time you'll know to tie it on the side and uh, we've all done it. We've all kept, kept size. Actually, I'm lucky. So far I've never kept size, but it'll happen. Bit of old sheep squall. Uh, please don't do this at home boys and girls, it's a silly thing to do, particularly on a windy day like today when you've got lots of fumes going everywhere. I'm only doing this because I'm out of matches, she's awake. Mmm, burning wool, yum. going to diamond score this, I've already done the other side, and this uh, helps the flavour that I'm going to put on to get through. It also makes it really nice to eat this way. You can see I'm leaving the head on, the head's got plenty of flesh, it's much my favourite part, it's got the eyes which I love, the cheeks which I love, and of course the brain. I've done both sides of the snapper, I'm going to put a rub on that. So Simon's turned up because he knows it's lunch time, he can smell it cooking over at Motawaka there and I'm going to put on a bit of this, it's actually for chicken I think. I'm actually just going to go like this and put it on real thick, you can feel the rain coming. Just as well I've got Simon's raincoat inside still. I've had that for about six months now, I'm enjoying it mate, it's a good raincoat, thank you. Yeah. I never actually asked if you wanted it back but the truth is you're not getting it back, it's too good. I know where it is. <laughs> you know where it is, yeah. Hey man, I got some fish. Do you want to cook you one up? No, I'm good, thanks. You sure? Yeah. Okay. What a good onion here. There we go. That's a beauty. Nice. Weird onions. Have you got those growing in your garden? No. But you do have lots of uh, celery, don't you? Yeah, heaps of I want some. So what made you plant a whole lot of celery? Oh, hold on, I remember now what made you plant it. It was a woman, wasn't it? Did you know that when men eat a lot of celery, their breath becomes sexually attractive to a woman? Do you know that? And then what they put out? True true story. Yeah. Dr. Glenn Davies told me that. So I went and bought a whole lot of celery, and you know what? Nothing happened, eh? Hey? Interesting. Yeah, interesting. But very good for the breath. That's a um, courgette flower, you can eat those. Bit of the old uh, dripping, because we're out of leaf lard right now, because we haven't been catching any pigs, have we? 
Simon and I have had the worst pig hunting in our lives this last year, but that's all about to change, isn't it, bro? Yeah, the paint's not changed up a little bit. Simon's got new pig dogs, so uh, we're hoping it's going to change. Personally, I think it's to do with the amount of guys that are poaching our block around it with thermals, that's what I reckon. That's my spin on that. There you go, bro. Good to see you, man. Yeah. Yep. Red onions actually really nice raw. If you're going to do cooking onions, best onions is white. And if you do salad, use red. But they're also nice on the hot plate with a bit of fat. And that's what I'm having with my fish today. The trick about doing fish like this is you don't want to turn it and turn it. You want to turn it maybe just once. Get the fat around the, the bottom of it where it is. And I'm going to put it here in the fat. Like that. And then turn it again once that's done. If you turn it and turn it, it'll fall to bits because it's got no muscle holding together because you've put your knife through it and it's compromised the actual structure of the fish so you just want to turn it a couple of times and as with fish you don't want to overcook it I'm going to take the eye out of each tomato like that there and then just cut it in half as we're done smack them on the hot plate now fish is uh, cooking nicely there I'm going to turn it, it's been probably about I don't know five minutes but it's enough because I can see it going white on the top so it's time to turn it oh yeah it looks perfect nice sort of steaming that on top of it it's not quite uh, cooked the fish but it will carry on cooking in this and that's exactly why I'm going to keep it on that place it down here a little bit of lemon on our fish it's been like four seasons in one day, look at this dish, would you? I'm just going to bring the camera up and gently go over it so you can see. Look at that fish, just falling apart on the bone, look at that. A few bones there, and we'll get those out of the way, and just try it a little bit. Oh, perfection. Really good. My bottom lip's completely burnt and cracked. But it was worth it. So I've been fishing solid for the last probably six days. Take this buff off here, keep it over my head because it's hot. This cloudy weather you can still get burnt and that's what happened with my lip. Around my neck I've got this here which was a gift from Shelly Raskin. He made that, it's a neck knife he made for my daughter. Neat little knife, just fits in the sheath upside down and stays there. And above that I've got a gift from my daughter and my son, which is a little uh, mouldy two types of kudu there uh, connecting up, made out of I think it's rimu, and above that a whale's tail which represents the, to me, the land and the sea uh, most of my gathering comes from the land and the sea, I don't do duck shooting and goose shooting like a lot of guys do, occasionally I go out but I don't, so there would be something for air in there to some symbolise that but I'm not a hunter of the air, really as much as I love duck uh, but I do hunt the land and obviously the, the sea for my food, so that symbolises that for me. So I've been out fishing solid for the last six days, and you might say, well Clay, surely you've got enough fish, how much fish does a man need? And the truth is I don't need the fish, I've been giving it to friends and family and feeding myself like this, but the reason I've really been going fishing every day is I've been grieving. I've lost someone who's incredibly, or at least was incredibly close to me, I still haven't ex really accepted the reality fully of what's happened but for me part of going through a process is to be out in the bush in the mountains the mountains are healing the sea is healing to carry on doing what I'm doing rather than staying at home feeling sad and it's good for me to be out and to fish so that's what has been my therapy of course you can't run away from the reality of the grieving process as painful as it is you'll know what I mean if you've if you've lost somebody in close you how it hurts and you've got to go through that process I still am going through it but I'm doing it my own way which is to get out and do what I I love which is get my own food hunt and fish anyway that is perfect that is just perfect absolutely perfect mm. hmm. everything on the plate I have harvested myself which makes it taste even better good luck with your own harvesting growing your own vegetables, catching your own fish, hunting your meat, or even hunting it down the supermarket, however you're getting it. It's so important what we put in our mouths, and that includes drugs and alcohol. I'm a drinker, but do it wisely. 
Don't ever use it to self-medicate. Only do it for celebration when it's just something to celebrate in your life because alcohol is a depressant. Same with drugs. I'm not against using drugs, but like anything, if you abuse it, then you lose it. You've got to do the hard yards first before life is easy. If you're just sitting back, toking away every day or drinking every day, taking the easy road, then it's hard later on. Go hard now, later on it's easy. Anyway, be good, can't be good, be careful, and I'll see you in the next one.